Crowded pool parties, alcohol flowing freely, barely a mask in sight. Whether at public venues or backyard barbecues, authorities say these are the conditions that fuel community spread. In Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a rash of new infections among young adults, prompting alarm from local officials. We had seen over the last few weeks uh, parties going on in the county where students or kids would come in with known positives. As improbable as it sounds, officials say they've received reports of parties where positive tests are celebrated. These kids are having parties and they're putting money in a pot and they're purposely trying to get COVID from the person who has COVID and apparently whoever gets COVID first gets the pot. The University of Alabama says it's not been able to identify any students who participated in such activities. It's not just college kids holding parties. Cheers again to an incredible 75 years. In the nation's capital, wealthy socialite Ashley Taylor Bronzick hosted a soiree at her home following an online gala for the Washington Ballet. The Washington Post reports Bronzick was later diagnosed with COVID-19 along with some of her guests. There's no reason to believe she knew she was ill that night, the paper writes, nor is it clear how or when she contracted the virus. Bronzick did not respond to NBC's request for comment. Please, please cooperate. I am speaking especially to the younger adults now. In New York's Rockland County, a large party hosted by an infected person has led to at least eight other cases, those individuals refusing to cooperate with contact tracers, working to identify others at risk. I am now forced by these circumstances to send subpoenas to the individuals who are required to cooperate with us. On the eve of Independence Day, for some, no holiday. Health officials desperately working to flatten the infection curve again.